yourselves a big hand of applause for coming out on a Monday night. Some of my friends say, oh, 830, that's so late. By the way, each and every one of you inside should feel privileged. The people outside can't hear us. And I'm not sure this will reach. Should we go say hi? No, it won't reach. Hi, people outside. Well, I was going to say fuck them, but I thought the kids were still here. And I'm a little pissed. The fucking kids left, I was going to rip the shit out of them two little fucking kids, man. Jesus. I was also going to try and give them a lesson, because like we were talking about with Florida, folks, aren't we on cop, cops and world's dumbest enough? Can I tell you all the secret to crossing the street, which seems to be getting us on the news quite a bit lately, right? Did they teach you how to cross the street in school when you were younger? Because you look like you've crossed a few streets. <laughs> Did they? Cross in the green, not in between. Does anyone remember that? From first grade or kindergarten. Look both ways. Especially on fucking Hillsborough Avenue. The guy uh, was doing a news interview for the kids on Hillsborough Avenue, and they asked one kid, why do you cross here? Why do you cross four lanes of traffic on Hillsborough Avenue? Well... If we walk all the way down to the crosswalk and cross there, we have to walk all the way back. And that's really far. Lazy. Lazy. And I thought it was the young people thinking they got forever to live. I live right by the Regents Bank up here on 580 and Patricia. The Lukens. Does everyone know where Lukens is? Who does not know where Lukens is? I like it. It's like an adult liquor supermarket. A wagon. When I need a wagon to shop at the liquor store, we're doing okay. But right there at the Imperial Crest Mobile Home Park, these people get off the bus. Now, people that take the bus aren't always the most intelligent folk. But they come across right at 580, instead of going up to Patricia, waiting for that red or white flag. Do we need to go back to walk and don't walk? Are we that fucking stupid that you don't realize a red flashing hand means don't cross the goddamn street. It's not your turn. By the way, give it up for Mandy, my very beautiful camera girl tonight holding my iPad. And I can say beautiful because I have no interest in Mandy being a gay man. Probably the token gay man. And is there any other gay person in here tonight? I love, I love being one of, you're not gay, Isaiah. And I've got to tell you something, it's a good thing you're pretty. Because you're dumb as a stump, sister, let me tell you. Speaking of dumb, ladies and gentlemen, give it up for your waste staff, your kitchen staff, your bar staff. There is a reason we are not telepathic as a species. And it's called the hospitality industry. Because if I had to serve food thinking one thing and saying another, if you could read my mind, if you've been a difficult customer, that's what we call them, a difficult customer. And last week I almost, I couldn't stop it. I couldn't filter anymore. I had a table of six people that had been to Italy. They had all these wines. They were running me ragged over a bottle of wine. They ordered one. We didn't have it. They had, oh, you don't have it. I can't believe you don't have it. Well, I've never seen Jesus either, but I believe in him. Okay, we don't have it. It's not like I drank it. It's not like I sat there and went, oh, I bet you want this wine, huh? So one guy at the table keeps going, hey, hey, shaking his empty beer bottle at me. I don't think my parents sat around for nine months thinking of a name for me so you could call me, hey. Hey, I need another Bud Light. I'll get you a Bud Light, sir. Another Bud Light here, please. I heard you, sir. I'll be happy to bring you another Bud Light. Hey. You're going to bring me a Bud Light? And I hadn't left the table yet. The other people were still asking me questions. And I said, sir, do I look unintelligent to you? No. Have you gotten the other three Bud Lights that you've asked me for? Yes. I said, I got you. I got you. Fancy people, been to Italy, having a lot of wine. One of the ladies, fancy dressed at the table, looks at me and says... What do you have for dessert? While she's picking her teeth with her fingernail. Money don't buy class, folks. Money does not buy class. The other table I had that almost put me over the edge was four German ladies. 
I wished I had an oven at one point. Uh, <laughs> I'm German, I can talk about it. Uh, but they harassed me, they didn't pay attention during my little speech, then they had questions that would have been answered if they were listening. But I'm just a peasant peon server. There's no need to pay attention to me. They ran me ragged. I could already tell I was getting a European tip. So I really didn't think there was anything to lose. And I bring them their check, and she goes, we need separate checks. I said, of course you do. Now, if you ask me for separate checks after the fact, I usually don't have a problem with that. But since I already didn't like them, it was an issue for me. So I bring them the separate checks. I give the German woman her checkbook with her check in it. And she looks up at me and goes, do you have a pen? And I said, for what? You haven't given me a charge card yet. What are you going to do, draw me a picture? And she was like, you're very rude. I said, you know what's really rude? Is you insinuating that I'm unintelligent when the actual lack of intelligence comes from you. Until you give me a credit card, what do you have to sign? You don't have a charge slip to sign. I thought maybe she just wanted to keep my pen. Now I've seen the light. I never see that flashlight. <laughs> Never. I've been up here 15 minutes, two days. I mean, they just let me keep talking. But I saw the light this time. I'm very happy about it. I just think it's another fan snapping a photo of me while I'm up here. I flash like, oh, oh. I hope you enjoy yourselves, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Chris Curtin. You have a wonderful evening. <laughs>